Hey guys, um, I just want to start this video off by saying this video is sponsored by a good friend of mine. A good friend of mine who owns the Facebook page 420 Review. Definitely would check that out if that was you. And if I think about it, which I probably won't by the time this gets uploaded, I will put a link to that in the description. Today, we are finishing up the lining, this, this long ass piece here, to my blanket that I have been working on for months. So you guys get to enjoy watching me try to sew correctly. Main thing I've been sewing is not together. I've been sewing them apart. I like miss half of it and then, you know, this is also probably going to be really loud so warning, loud probably. I don't actually know for a fact. It's not very loud to me. But I got a sewing machine. It's sort of sewing by hand. I got a sewing machine. So. Here we go ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> moving my scissors but I have these scissors too so that comes in handy just cut off all of this excess thread that's in my way without cutting myself Figure out what's with all of these lines going everywhere. Use my other scissors for this because I have a very strong feeling some of these are needed. Yeah. Like that one. That one's kind of sort of needed. We're going to cut it anyway because fuck you, that's why. Okay, guys, so it's like Saturday, I think. And I never imagined I'd spend my Saturday sewing. But you know what? Here we are. I don't know what this right here is going to. This might just be the, uh, <clears throat> or I got it sewn back together. So, is that going to hold decently? Yep. Awesome. Okay. So this is what we got so far. It goes, um, I don't know how well you guys can see it. It goes from, let me get a light. It goes from red down to one of the other colors between soft and rough down to pink, which the pink's going to get mixed in with, um, this color. Can you see that? I don't know. Also, this thing is so fucking cool. It has a light. That's fucking badass, guys. This, I guess, could also be a sewing tutorial. I mean, I guess if you have this little sew for sew, or sew and sew sewing machine, then uh, I guess you could use this too. I've been using um, one setting this entire time. I kind of want to change it. I kind of want to do five on this one, just to see what it looks like. Okay, so this is a part of that blanket I've been working on forever. That you guys have seen bits and pieces of, but never the full thing. Back to the loud noises. Oh, that's actually really pretty. I like that one. It's really good. Get this cut eventually. Don't last scissors. So the one that we've been using, you can kind of sort of see here on this blue and pink one. I don't know if you can actually see that. Get the light on it. I don't know if you can actually see it. It's actually like really fucking pretty. And I just started using this one. And it's beautiful. The ones that I was doing before by hand are wannabe cross stitches. I couldn't remember how to actually do the cross stitch. So I was just doing the next best thing I could think of. This is just the uh, top. This All this does is it just makes the top strip of the, of the, of the blanket. Almost a pillow. Makes the top strip of the blanket. That's all it's doing. Which actually, I sewed this upside down. This makes me sad. Okay, scissors. Cut. These tiny little stitchy thingies here. And that should allow it to be able to be pulled out. 
was such a good sew too. It turns out it was upside down. That was the first one that I've actually been able to sew the whole thing in one shot in a while. So that's depressing. Now I get to sit here and ramble on with you guys about not sewing the wrong lines or not sewing your tiny pieces of fabric upside down. I guess don't do that. That's it's a dis it's a distraughting feeling. Oh shit! That's not that's not part of the, the thread. That's part of the fabric. Okay. But yeah, if you guys want to make a blanket, just go out to a Walmart or a craft store or something. You know, wherever the hell you guys want to go. I got most of my fabric at Walmart because we don't have any craft stores. Um, just go there. Fabric is expensive. Yes, I'm not gonna lie, it's not cheap. I think I spent like $20 getting everything for my blanket and then I got some of these little squares for free in the mail by signing up for some weird thing that I didn't even know what the fuck I was signing up for. And they got sent to me and I was able to, you know, sew them together. There we go. Um, my thumb's stuck. I was able to uh, sew these little tiny squares together. And now I gotta pull out tiny little increments of fabric. Not fabric, I didn't want to call it fabric. Um, of uh, thread so that I can sew this all over again. The majority of it's done here in this bottom part. Soon to be top. This should all just come right out. We're also sitting in my kitchen. Welcome to the kitchen. I didn't feel like sitting in my room doing this. Since I really don't have anywhere with enough lighting and comfortable enough to sit. I'm sitting in the kitchen. Okay. This is the direction it's actually supposed to be facing. It was facing that way. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference in that. But this is a lot brighter and a lot prettier. So. <sighs> Here we go again. I have never used a sewing machine before. This is the first day of me ever using a sewing machine. <clears throat> Don't inhale your drink. I literally just started using this today. This is my first time ever using it. This is right, correct? And I have a foot pedal, so that's why, my, that's why my hands aren't touching anything. I have a foot pedal with this. And I have a option to automatically turn it on, but it's easier for me to use the foot pedal. Because then I control when I want to stop. together as pretty as before? I think it did. It looks really pretty underneath. So. There's a total of 21 squares to sew together. I did the other 21 and the rest of the blanket by hand. So, um, yeah. This is literally taking me months. And I haven't been working on it every single day because Half the time, I have too much pain to work on it. There we go. Again, probably be better with the light. LED lights for the win. See you guys? See how pretty that is? It's like a flesh color. It's almost the color of my skin. Well, not the underneath of my arm, because I'm pale as shit, but the top of my arm. It's like... Yeah, see? See, that's like flesh color. That's not even quite pink. That's just flesh covered. Co covered? Yeah, covered. But, um... Yeah, I mean, I'm just sitting here sewing. Everybody else is in their rooms. My grandmother's going to sleep. My uncle's being an ass. And I have nothing better to do. So I figured, hey, you know what I can do? I can sew. So, here I am. There's an odd thing going on here. So we're supposed to have another? Okay, so it goes like that. And then this one. And then this one. And then this one. And then... That one. That make it twenty one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's still only twenty. I am still missing one. Never mind. Thought I had them all. Guess not. Okay. Oh, 
I set that right in the pile, thread. And I'm going to have to vacuum the floor again because I'm pretty sure there's thread everywhere. Let me just double check this because I don't feel like doing this any longer. Well, I want to get this done with already so I can move on to the rest of the blanket. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I thought I had all of them. Damn it. I'm not sitting on it, am I? Nope. Lock them up. I'm getting a drink. There used to be two bottles down there. I don't know where one of them went. Oh well. <sighs> Quarter of a bottle of Dr. Pepper that's been sitting in the fridge for a month and a half. Why not? <sighs> JP? Yeah. actually missing is a rough one so I mean that should be pretty easy to get out so yeah that won't be hard to do shit I'll just keep laying this in the pile of thread you know what I'm gonna do you guys will ignore me for a moment while I gathered all of this messed up thread together yeet nope close enough I'll get it later oh um this is where I was practicing all of the pretty little sewing options I have with this thing, it's pretty cool. Can you guys are wondering what this thing fully looks like? Just sit the wrong way. Yeah. Okay. Somewhere in the screen, I hope. I can't see. But uh, it's pretty nice. We've got a thing. I've got to take these scissors are, though. It says scissors, but it's not like a button and it's not something you can slide. Did I have to look to the back? I did. Okay, coolio, guys. Make sure all of this is facing the right direction. Excuse me. This is very long. Now we're doing baby shit green. Yippee. This is gonna be on my face, too, on this fucking blanket if I ever actually decide to finish it. Alright. Scare the shit out of ourselves by snapping that down. Go ahead and begin sewing this thing back just by doing that. Put our foot on the pedal and put the pedal to the floor. Then actually make this thing move. Hang on. Try not to give me a moment, guys. So, back, back here got sucked up inside. Like an ass. There we go. Might have to start again. Because we're starting off at a bad spot. Pull these back out here together. Literally, I have learned all of this within a matter of mere minutes, really. I mean, I just started all of this. Yeah. Look at that ball. <laughs> that is just a mess. Alright. Come on. Yeah. I knew you could do it. Scissors that are dull as shit. I knew you could do it. This blanket, it isn't really a pattern to follow at all. It started kind of as a quilt, and then I decided, you know what, I'm not going through all of that trouble to make a quilt by hand. So I'm just going to make a simple, you know, little blanket I can sleep under if I want. And so far, that blanket's extremely warm. More than you would think. <clears throat> I've worn it out with, like, no jacket on, t-shirt or tank top or something like that on. Um... In 30 degree weather, and the wind was blowing and it was raining, and I didn't even feel it because I had the blanket around my shoulders. And yeah, I mean, if you guys want to make blanket 
I can tell you how. It's not hard. Just when you mess up and you you're using a sewing machine, you deal with shit like this. Yeah, I cannot find out where I'm supposed to be cutting right now to cut this damn shit off of here. <sighs> Good enough. That hurt. I had a thumb. Reason I don't have one anymore is because the damn scissors probably broke it just now. All of this shit over here is what's out of my face. These tiny little pieces of uh, stuff and things. Okay. Is this all the way out the back? Yep. Get these snap down. Sew it back. Take it back forward. Alright. Time to put the pedal to the floor. Again. out here, find my scissors again, cut off this uh, excess stringy shit over here, there we go, put that off the back, excuse me, uh, cut that off there, look at that ladies and gentlemen, we are sewn together. still more to put on there but I can go in here and show you guys this I'm just gonna leave that in the middle of the room let's go in here to my room and I'll show you guys the blanket Jack's probably not gonna be able to hold this so the pop for tissues with this bottle of water behind it there we go okay I'm gonna be holding the blanket upside down but This is the blanket. I can't see over it. There we go. This is the blanket. This is the bottom anyway. So this one part that's got bears on it's really soft. We've got the Day of the Dead. We've got the thingies. And this is actually the top. We've got a bunch of Halloween stuff. We've got my love of foxes. Halloween, Halloween, more foxes. And I don't know if I can get this whole thing in camera at once. Jack's head's in the way, actually. That's probably why I can't. Sorry about that. Did you see it all? It's on my tippy toes. Hope you guys saw it all. That's the blanket I've been working on. So, and I've got lots of more fabric to put to this. Since I'm not doing this by hand anymore, I should be able to put all of this on there, which is all Halloween. All Halloween. Once I, uh, where did she go? I don't know. But, once I get all that finished, I'll be able to sew the um, little patch thing I made. I don't remember what I did with it. I don't think it's over here. The patch I made for my cat, I'll be able to sew that on to that top part there. It just has her name on it, and I can't find it because I don't know where I put it. But anyway, guys, that'll be the end of this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me sew terribly and mess up a lot, but... Um, the blanket should be done fin- be- Yep. Words. The blanket should be finished soon. If you guys want to make your own blanket, do it. It's not hard. At all. Good luck. <laughs> Peace out, guys. I'll see you later.